Struggling to get dank content? No one cares about your team wipe? We have come to the right place for an easy to follow this editing tutorial on DaVinci Resolve. The first course of action is to get some epic gamer content. Get an application like OBS to record your gameplay and play some games with that. Now that you have something to edit, pick out a song and open up your DaVinci Resolve. You should be greeted by a page like this. So just hit new project and you should be into the real part of this video. Now that you're in, drag in or press Ctrl I to import your footage into DaVinci Resolve. You do the same thing for music and once you're ready, take your music and drag it down onto the timeline. Uh, I don't want to break my viewers ears, so go up to the top right corner and set the volume to something like negative 8. Then drag in your footage and cut it up lightly. You can do this by using the blade tool which is pulled up using the B key. Click wherever you want to cut and repeat the process until you have sectioned out what you want to edit. Now that you have your basic outline of your video, you can add in sound effects. I use a website called uh, My Instance. I also use ytmp3.com for this. Find the sound effects that you want to use and do the same process as you did to the music and the clips. Either press Ctrl I or drag them straight into your timeline. Right here, I want an effect where the clip slows down and stops and zooms in onto the Mirage's face. To do this, click on the frame that you want to be stopped, and click your right arrow key once, only once. Then use the blade tool and cut that one frame out. Move your footage to the side, and select your clip using right click. A window should pop up, and then click change clip speed. Set it to freeze frame, and click OK. Now your clip should be frozen in place, but it's way too small. So click Change Clip Duration and set it to something manageable. You can always drag this out later. Now that you have that, you can drag it to size and put in your sound effect. And it should be something like this. I don't know what I'm doing! Now for those of you who don't know how to enlarge your clip, go over to the right hand side of your screen where you should see the inspector menu. You can click on the numbers and move your mouse either left or right to change the size or the position. Now for this effect, I want to zoom in onto the EVA 8 logo. To do this, I will also use the keyframes. I'll go to where the sound effect starts, and then I'll go to where the sound effect peaks when it says shot. I'll go one frame back, click the square, go one frame forward, and click the square again then drag up the zoom. Now here's the tricky part, which is tracking. You have to do this one by one, frame after frame. To do this, click on the square that's shown in the video, and uh, now you are in keyframe mode. You can go by every single frame by pressing the right arrow key, and you can hold it down to go faster. You will have to do every single frame manually, because tracking is a pain in the butt. Click the right arrow key to move a frame forward, and zoom and move according to your uh, character that you're trying to track. After you're done, it should look something like this. You might want to add subtitles to something that you don't understand. This person steals my kill and then my gold armor. So I want to find an effect to suit this. You can slap this effect in and I have no idea what he's talking about, but I can subtitle it to make it seem like uh, he's talking about something that I want. To do this, go to the effects tab and find the text. Drag it into your timeline and position it wherever you want. On the right side in the inspector, you should select which font you want. In the end, I decide to make mine look like this. Sometimes you want the video of a meme to show up too. Here I did 7 damage, so I want to put a meme on top of it. I can drag in my video and then go to the opacity and drag it down so that you can see through the meme. In the end, it looks something like this. 
Repeat this process for the rest of the clips and you should be golden. Now you're ready to export. Click the little rocket ship in the bottom right and select YouTube 1080p settings. Then click browse and find the folder that you want to save your project to. Then go to the file window and change the name of your file. You're now ready to export. Click the add to render queue button and then click start render in order to start rendering your clip. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this helped you a little bit. And here's the final product. Enjoy. I don't know what I'm doing! Shotgun! Why are you running? Your enemy can't kill if they're dead. <laughs>